My grandma would get everyone together. She was really the matriarch of our family and she would have a beautiful Shabbat dinner and my grandpa would make Kiddush and my aunts and uncles were there, all my cousins. And it was a time for family. And um, when we left Paris and made the journey to the United States, we kept those traditions with us. So I think in life, when we go through um, turmoil or when we go through hard times, we look for the pillars in our life that have brought us consistency. And in my life, um, a sense, an overwhelming sense of consistency was always the Kiddush on Friday night, was always the lighting of the candles. I had tried so many things, I think I was so open to everything, open to this Indian healing lady and open to meditation and open to group therapy or therapy one-on-one -on -one. and I had done so many things and nothing quite filled that void. When the time was right and I did approach a rabbi, every ailment I had had cure in Torah and I had tried everybody else's path so it was time that I followed my roots and tried mine. I started to work for my family business first like as an apprentice as an intern in every department in every division my dad said to me you know we're starting this brand and um, I'm not quite sure about the direction and I'm, I, I'd really like your opinion on it so I came into the office I took a look and I love the name instantly BCBG generation it felt to me like the next generation of BCBG shoppers. So um, I came to look at the line and I said to him, um, you know, I would try this and I would try that and I think that this might be off brand. And um, that afternoon we were, I, I followed him into a meeting and he introduced me as the creative director. I was like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Even when I travel for a business trip and I have to tell somebody, oh, you know, sorry, I can host you in a kosher restaurant, but I can't go to that restaurant you know, they automatically start to ask questions or they'll comment that my hair was short last week but it's long this week, how did that work? The true entrepreneurs, the true leaders, they all have that quality in common and they have this sense of respect for people that really hold to their values. You know, I'm so proud of who I am, I'm proud to cover my hair, I'm proud to be keeping Shabbat, I'm proud to be, you know, raising my children in an orthodox life and so as long as it doesn't bother someone else, you know, those walls are broken as soon as anybody will let me in.